Now it's time to get control. If you've been following along with this series so far, then in the first video, you've watched me, by the way, David from Learn Christmas Lady, hi. Uh, you watched me first select my gear, then build my controller, and now we're gonna get some control of our lights. So uh, just to begin, we haven't plugged in our lights yet. You can, if you wanna plug in up, up to 150 pixels out of each output of your controller. Um, and they're gonna go ahead and be plugged in. Now, the first thing that I've got to do here is get my controller set up and get X lights set up. So I powered on my controller. And when you power up a Falcon, what you're gonna see is on the screen, you're gonna see it's idle for a few minutes and then it boots up. It's going to automatically find an IP address from your router. If you have a router on the network assigning DHCP, which they typically do. And, um, and you're gonna see that IP address on the screen. Um, if you don't have a router in your system, it should default to a specific IP address, which you could then uh, go to in your computer. That's a little bit beyond the scope of this tutorial. though. So I've pulled up that web page and we've got here um, the configuration page. So the very first thing that I want to do is just see that this is here, see it's good, see what my IP address is. I'm gonna go to network configuration and I do like to disable DHCP leave the IP address where it is so it's always in the same place. I'm actually going to copy that and hit save. Let the guy reboot. And then we're going to open up Xlights. I'm going to be doing this tutorial in Xlights. So we'll open that up. If this is your first time opening up Xlights, then you're going to see uh, a pop-up that says, hey, you don't have a show folder. Please select one. I usually use um, the documents slash Xlights folder. It's a good place, but for this, I'm going to go to a brand, a brand new folder. So I'm just going to right click and I clicked on a file. Let me create a new folder, right click new folder. Awesome. Hit open. Oops, and what I meant to do here is not open sequence, but actually, sorry, change permanently for the show directory. Oh, David, what are you doing here? Good morning. <laughs> Time to wake up. Select the folder. Now there's nothing here. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is hit discover, because if you have a controller that is a, a Falcon or a Culp or one of the popular ones in our hobby, they're going to be automatically found here, which is awesome. Okay. Um, also, by default now, you're going to have auto layout models if you click on it. Auto size, full X lights control, um, all set up. Okay. And so the cool thing about this is it sets up a lot here. Um, it's going to just auto manage this stuff. And though I don't love doing things in automatic mode, it, it really does work well. Next, we go to the layout tab. So for this one, there are multiple ways to set this up. You know, truly it depends on what your, your setup's gonna look like, uh, but we're just gonna pretend we're doing a matrix today. So I'm gonna drag out a matrix and I'm gonna go ahead and strings. The first thing is the number of connections to your controller. So that's gonna be four by 150. And then that's the amount of nodes on each string. And then the strands is how many times it boogie woogies back and forth, right? So let's do three. So say it's 50 wide of a matrix um, and every three, basically we start a new port. Okay. Hit save. And then we can go ahead and fill out our controller connection here, um, which I'm not going to do right now because we can actually go over here. If we hit visualize here in the controller tab, you see here, you get the matrix and we can drag this in and then it just automatically goes string one, two, three, four, port one, two, three, four, done. This is an F4 controller and it has the ability to add expansion ports. So there are more ports here, but we're not using them. Awesome. Press save, press save, make sure we're good in layout. And then I'm going to go plug in a couple pixels um, so that we can see something light up and we're going to go create our first sequence. Now, the one quick thing that I did miss here was if we close this out, we can go over to the layout tab again 
and we just need to make this uh, 50 percent brightness because if they are at full with most pixels we would be over the capacity of our power supply so we're going to pop those down to 50 percent more than enough usually hit save on that guy and then we're back to it all right so you may be able to see them there i've got my pixels hanging off the table which is great I can go here. The first thing I'm going to do is just hit new sequence. This will be a musical or sorry, not a musical to say animation. Quick start. Yeah, I know. Let's go to animation. I hit the wrong button. I know. Oh, it's good. It, it created an animation. I thought that's what it did. So now we're going to go. We're going to go to the output to lights here. Turn that on. And then let's just bring in an effect. So for example, we could bring in the on effect. And as you can see, boom, lights are on. If I had all 600 connected, we would see them going. So this is the first step to testing. Now, of course, I'm just doing a matrix here. So it's a very simple prop. Um, you know, prop wise, that's whatever shape you put your pixels in. What you do depends on what you're looking for. This is just an example of a DIY first show. So check out my videos on props uh, for more info on that. I'll, I'll make sure to put one here on YouTube. Um, but there are lots of effects you can choose from. So I use the on effect. If I want to switch to something else, like the infamous bars test, you can drag it over it and it will replace. You can also go ahead and you can change it uh, here. We'll just wait till they change once at least so we get to see them. Blink, red, and they'll go back to life. But you can choose any of them from this drop down here. You can also choose them from the top here, drag them in get all sorts of effects going on. And that's it. It's really that simple to get started. Go ahead and hit save. Boom, save your X light sequence. And now you can play these and watch it happen on your lights. And that's the first step. If you want more info on X lights, be sure to check out my full playlist. And if you're new to Christmas lighting this year, you don't want to miss my guide. The three things I need you to know before you buy anything in Christmas lighting. Grab that over at learnchristmaslighting.com. Be sure you're subscribed here and we will see you in our next video. Thanks.